Thank you, Werner. I'm Ethan Kaplan, and I have an amazing job. I'm the chief product officer for Fender Digital. Fender guitars are synonymous with rock, jazz, blues, great music of all types. We've been there for some of the most iconic moments in rock and roll. That's right, Fender was there at Woodstock when Jimi Hendrix blew the audience away with his rendition of the Star Spangled Banner on his 1968 Fender Stratocaster, serial number 24098. Jimmy was left-handed and famously played his guitar upside down. It went down in history as one of the first true rock star moments. Fender was also there when Bruce Springsteen recorded Born to Run. He paid $185 for that Fender Esquire hybrid. He called it the best deal of his life. He wrote in his memoir that it was his favorite guitar, but we already knew that because he's been playing it for 40 years. Also playing it for 40 years, Keith Richards with his go-to Fender Telecaster Blackguard, which he nicknamed Macabre after a character in a Charles Dickens novel. And I can go on and on because ever since Leo Fender started building guitars in the early 1950s, we've been the choice for music's biggest names, and that popularity continues. Fender has been on 90% of the world stages in the last year with artists like Bruno Mars, Flea, Brad Paisley, too many stars to name, moving the Fender tradition forward. And we're working on building the next generation of Fender players. But here's the challenge. When I started at Fender, we did the first ever consumer segmentation study of guitar players, and we learned some really wild things. First, we learned that 45% of players every year are new to the instrument. And these people will spend four times as much on lessons as they did on the guitar itself. But here's the even bigger problem. 90% of them will quit within the first six months, most within the first 90 days, but there's an opportunity there. The 10% of people that make it through will buy eight to 10 guitars over their lifetime. Most of those will be Fender. So there's a huge opportunity for us to move that needle if we can just keep people playing. And here's how we're leveraging that opportunity. The first thing you need to do when you pick up a guitar is tune it. There are 60 guitar tuning apps in the App Store right now. None of them actually taught you how to tune. So we did. Two years ago, we shipped our first application, Fender Tune. It's been used by millions of people and has five stars in both app stores. We built another app, Fender Tone. It's a remote controller for the world's best-selling line of digital amplifiers, the Mustang. For both of these applications, we use AWS to store custom settings for the tuner and custom presets for the tone uh, and the amp in the cloud. But these two apps were just for starters. What was next was really big. If you have a dusty guitar in the corner under your bed or in a closet, you might want to get it out when you get home because we're revolutionizing how you can learn to play guitar. A year ago, we launched Fender Play. It's a digital learning app that's going to keep more beginners engaged in continuing to play. It's just that good. Our aim was to make an online learning app as good as the guitars we make. So unlike most video instruction, if you've ever looked on YouTube, this isn't a guy on a couch with a GoPro and his cat walking in the background. It's tightly structured curriculum, 4K, high quality studio shot video, and it has instructions for more than 500 songs that you know and love. So why did we choose AWS to build these apps? Well, I needed an engineering team to focus on building things, not thinking about how to build infrastructure. We needed to be able to iterate our products in response to the data that we are learning from customers and customer feedback. And we needed to scale really, really rapidly. So let's go into how we built Fender Play on AWS. Two years ago, we started filming content on two sound stages in Los Angeles, and we're generating a lot of content. We shoot six days a week between the two studios producing up to 30 pieces of content a day. So there's a lot of video coming out of there. We went up to Seattle and met with the AWS team and presented the problem. We said, we're generating terabytes of video a week. How do we get to that to our users? And of course, they had answers. They helped us devise a video processing pipeline where we can go from the local SAN in the studios, watch the SAN as video comes out of post-production, automatically transcode that video using Elastic Transcoder in sizes down to cell phones and up to 4K television sets, and simultaneously auto-populate our CDN and our CMS while archiving the raw video to Glacier. 
This pipeline operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week as we process files. This was also our first entry point into a serverless infrastructure. We use Lambda as triggers for the Elastic Transcoder, and we immediately saw a cost benefit. As we were getting ready to launch the application, this gave us the confidence to turn it up to 11. So when it came time to build the most important part of Fender Play, the part that collects money, we felt confident using AWS as a platform. AWS, again, helped us develop our subscription service. We used the API gateway to respond to requests from the applications and the App Store callbacks. That handles all of the CRUD operations for users, or the create, read, update, and deletes for a subscription. We use DynamoDB as well as Streams to relay all this data to a variety of systems, from taxes, revenue recognition, accounting, analytics, to email, push notifications, et cetera. Everything eventually ends up in Amazon Redshift, where we can use any given analytics platform to analyze the data in real time and respond to what the users are doing and shape the product. And the results, we're using 40 Amazon Web Services today. We've launched 10 applications on them. We've made 352 million Lambda requests since July, and 747 terabytes of video are currently stored there for nearly 5 million lesson views. Not on this list is Amazon Fresh. We use that for snacks. But our AWS bill as of last month is 15% less than it was a year ago, while we're serving 21 times the traffic, and that is still increasing. So what's next? Well, we got a taste of the future, and we're going entirely serverless. This goes from everything from Fender.com to every single application we make, and it's been working great for us. And I got my wish. My engineers don't think about servers. They just think about making great products. We're a global company, so we're going to be using Transcribe and Transcode to close caption all of our videos from multiple territories. We also get a lot of consumer data. We can start telling how people are playing and when they're playing, and using that to make better consumer experiences using machine learning. And it's not just for online instruction. Our factories are even looking to use Internet of Things technologies to monitor humidity and guitar production, and SageMaker to improve our wood grain matching. Fender has powered the music business for the last 70 years. And now with Amazon Web Service Tools, Fender and Fender Digital are looking forward to powering the next generation of musicians for the next 70 years. I'll share with you a brief sample of our latest trailer for our holiday promotion. Always wanted to play guitar but don't know where to start? Introducing Fender Play, the easiest way to learn guitar. Learn the songs you love at your own pace with a complete learning app for guitar, bass, and ukulele. Our easy-to-follow video lessons get you playing in minutes. Just pick your style and get going. Choose from hundreds of songs by top artists. Learn at your own pace with bite-sized lessons, and we track your progress. Our instructors show you how to play chords, scales, and new techniques. Stop searching and start playing today with Fender Play. Amazing story, and even. Thank, Thank you for you. being Good to here. See you, um, actually, I have. A, I believe analog is really important, and one of the pieces of analog is, of course, voice. I'm a strong believer that the next generation of systems we will be building will have voice interfaces to the digital side. Is that something that you guys are doing as well? Yeah. In fact, we're piloting something with our retail partners where you could actually, in a store, ask Alexa. The, to give you the details about a serial number of a guitar. It will give you specifications, when it was made, model, type of wood, et cetera. OK, wonderful. Yeah. Thanks for being here. So we actually have something for you, too. Um, uh, uh, they're going to bring it out. We are fresh off the factory floor, yeah. Corona, California. <laughs> um, this is an American professional Telecaster, special made for AWS. OK. I want to give it to you. Wonderful. Thanks, Enjoy Ethan. that. Great job.